So a lot of people in the financial world are talking about poison ivy and the next market crash in real estate. Now what does a garden weed have to do with houses? Let me explain. Hey, this is Billy, Eves, associate broker with Remax and Ben Salem. So what's going on right now is prices are up compared to last year, but they're down compared to last month. This is a nationwide thing that's going on. And nationally on average, they're down $15,000. So let's take it back to the last crash, the Great Recession. Poison Ivy is the name that real estate bulls gave to Ivy Zellman back in 2005, when she called the top of the bubble. So in 2006, one of the Toll Brothers said that the prices hit rock bottom. Ivy wanted to know what Cool Lady was drinking because she wanted some. She knew it wasn't rock bottom yet. Turns out she was right. So let's fast forward to 2022. Again, Ivy Zellman, the owner of a boutique housing research firm, the owner and founder, predicted the end of the pandemic housing bubble, and she was dead right just weeks before the rates skyrocketed, basically they doubled and caused a slowdown. So what's going on right now? Well, in some areas of the country, inventory is rising fast, meaning houses are coming on the market and they're not getting sold, not getting offers, they're dropping, their prices are, are reducing. Now, most of that is happening in the West Coast, the Southwest, and other mountain states, but we are seeing that here too in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. So what she's predicting now is that in 2023, houses will drop by about 4%. In 2024, they'll drop again by almost 5%. Combined, that's about an 8.8% total. So the next two years, take 8.8, make it round it up to 9% of your house value, and that's about what it'll go down. That'll put it in the top three, counting the Great Depression and the Great Recession. They're calling this the Great Pandemic Bubble. The big question on everybody's mind is, will it crash? Well, is that a crash? The answer to that is no. During this pandemic bubble, houses rose on average 43%. A crash is considered a loss of 20%. So 8.8% still means things are a lot higher than they were in 2018, 2019. It'll soften a little bit, but not a whole lot. So does that mean if you're a buyer, you should just wait a couple years and you'll be way ahead of the game? No, it's still up 43% from where it was. A lot of people have been stuck on the fence because the houses keep going up and up and up. Now the rates went up. Now, even though the houses were high, if they trickle down, the rates are still higher. Are you going to get this great big windfall if you wait a couple years? No, you're not. There's no indicator, no analyst, nobody predicts that. There's nothing to say that that's going to happen. So should you wait for the rates to come down? Well, there's nothing that says that's going to happen either. But does it make financial sense to wait? Well, if you're looking to pay three, four hundred to get into Bucks County, for example, and you're considering renting in that same area, you're looking anywhere between $2,200 and $2,500 a month. Even if you round it to $2,000 a month, over the next two years, that's almost $50,000 out the window. We've said this in a couple other videos, but it's important to stress. If you're renting at $2,000 a month over two years, that's fifty grand. If you're looking to buy for five or six or seven years, you're going to get your equity back, even if it does dip down a little bit. Real estate's not like a car. You don't buy one every two to three to four, maybe even five years. Real estate usually stick into about seven to 10 years. You'll get your money back. The prices will go up. And if you're a seller waiting to see what happens, well, it's one of the hottest times right now. Buyers are getting more and more picky as each month goes on. Inventories are rising. That's gonna hit our area. So is that gonna be good for buyers? Yes, buyers may not get a price windfall, but they'll certainly be able to call the shots a little bit more when it comes to home inspections, as is use and occupancy certifications in the municipalities in Bucks County and Montgomery County for that matter. So if it's the right time, sell now. Don't try to time the market. Because when you try that, most often you lose. If you're looking to trade up or down in Bucks County or Montgomery County or even Northeast Philadelphia, we have a couple of really good programs for you. Get in touch. We'll be glad to help you out. And as always, thanks for watching.